So I'm probably going to have to intervene here for this red light. Let's see. Yeah, and here we go. It's braking, so I have to tap the accelerator. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We are doing another FSD beta challenge today. We are going to go to a busy street, and it's the weekend right now, so uh, we're going to see how FSD is going to behave around heavy traffic and uh, possibly some pedestrians and a, a lot of pedestrians in that area, to be honest. So, uh, so right now FSD is engaged. So whenever the blue uh, icon with the uh, hand, uh, steering wheel is on the top left is in blue uh, versus in gray, then uh, yeah, that means it's on. If it's gray, that means it's uh, off. So uh, yeah, we'll be uh, turning in to uh, a turning lane close, closely over here, just after this traffic light, to uh, enter to that area. And then I think after that street, uh, we we are going to pass a few um, few streets to reach uh, the busy street that we're going to test on. So hope you folks like this video. Please hit like and subscribe to my channel. It'll, uh, it'll help me a lot. And uh, yeah, enjoy the ride. Stopping at the red light here, very nicely. So we've got the green light over here. The car does start to accelerate without any interventions. And a nice smooth entry here to this neighborhood. Very good, um, really happy with that. Um, yeah, so um, FSD, um, we're still on FSD 69.25.2. So we didn't really get FSD version 11 yet. Uh, seems like there's a lot of delays and I think it might have to do with the NHTSA uh, kind of um, recall that happened, you know, quote unquote recall. It's not really a recall, it's over the air update. Uh, I'm getting a lot of comments around that, so <laughs> hope that is clear for everyone. I think uh, by now folks have realized that. Uh, but yeah, um, so I'm very excited to see what is really going to happen with FSD. Are we going to get the NHTSA fixes, which is uh, which has to do with a lot of lane uh, lane uh, selection and um, issues with uh, I slow down there for the turn a little bit too harsh on the slowdown to be honest but I'll take it but yeah we, we, the NHTSA fixes are going to be are probably what's holding up a lot of the okay I'm gonna tap the accelerator here a little bit of an intervention just because we're slowing down way too much for my liking okay so the nets of fixes are going to be a little bit difficult to implement, but it'll be very interesting to see if uh, if Tesla is going to respond very aggressively with a lot of fixes to that stuff. It's kind of things that we, as testers uh, everywhere in the States and Canada, have already pointed out to Tesla, um, like probably a year ago or so, or so on. So uh, we don't know, like... Uh, in my mind, I think those fixes are very hard to implement and there's much more priorities than that. So that's probably why Tesla has been putting it off. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. So now we are in a neighborhood street. I think we have to drive around a kilometer ahead and then we'll be uh, hitting 17th Avenue. That's where we're going to do our, um, uh, our uh, heavy traffic and uh, pedestrian uh, road test. And we've got the green light now, and I'm going to tap on the accelerator because the car didn't really respond to that. It's very weird. It does show that it's a green light on the visualization, and it does realize it changes, but it just doesn't register an output. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I can't really say what's the what's the reason behind it or, or anything like that. I'm not really part of the, you know, like, uh, have details around that stuff, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully we get those glitches done. I have to say that they are starting to increase. I don't know what it is, but uh, every version update, I feel like uh, it becomes a little bit more, uh, it becomes better. Uh, but uh, but then as we stay on a on a version like we are right now in 69.25.2 for a while, I feel like it starts increasing. It might be just my, my perception, but uh, there you go. Okay, green light, and the car does actually take off this time. Okay. 
very nice. The car didn't really overreact to that uh, car t coming out of the parking spot, and it kind of like really encroached into our uh, into our lane um, from the incoming side of the of the street. So that's pretty cool that uh, there was no hesitancy there. A nice slowdown and uh, cautious slowdown over there by the car. Uh, I did reach my destination, that's why it's kind of slowing down over here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is probably hit continue trip and I'm going to let it do the next turn versus this one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually take a left turn. Uh, just because it kind of wants me to go straight ahead instead, but I won't uh, I won't let it do that so Okay, so here we go now we are at the busy street So we're going to be driving around five kilometers here um, And yeah, well, we're going to um, Sit and monitor how FSD beta reacts to these dynamic situations where for example this car has parked um you know, traffic light, pedestrians crossing, jaywalkers, and stuff like that. So that happens around a lot over here. So uh, I'll be fast forwarding if there's a, a long stop at the traffic light, but uh, yeah, enjoy the drive. So this is a great, great uh, situation here noted. Um, it was yellow, it turned to a yellow, but we are already in the intersection. At that point, the car still has to finish its maneuver into the into the street or outside of the intersection box. So, and it did that. And it, I didn't intervene there. So that was, that was great. In this case, it has to stop, for example. But I mean, the cars in front of me are stopping. So you get the gist of it. So in this situation over here, there's a little, little bit of a much more than needed kind of space between my car and the car in front of us. So I would uh, I would like to, you know, in my opinion, if I was driving, I would be closing that gap a little bit more. Very tight spaces over here with that truck being uh, on the incoming lane. Who still uh, handles it like a champ and the parked cars next to us. So it does slow down for those and stops actually for those pedestrians, but I'm going to give it a tap, tap on the accelerator pedal over here. It's being a little bit over cautious, but those kind of examples are uh, are really good training data for the team to, uh, so that they anticipate, uh, you know, that those pedestrians are not, uh, let's see what it does for, for these pedestrians. It very nicely just passes by and does not really uh, get uh, scared or uh, spooked or uh, stops for them or anything like that. So perfect. I always find FSD beta is always a hit or miss with um, like the versions that come up is always a hit or miss with the pedestrians. It's either overly cautious or just very like in a very good level of cautiousness. So, uh, you know, I'd rather it being um, uh, being um, I'd rather it being on the on the more safe side and uh, be overly cautious. But uh, that also comes with the price of, uh, you know, uh, disrupting traffic uh, around you and uh, being slower than the usual and stopping stopping uh, additional for you know for no reason and things like that so but yeah uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that uh, do you do you think FSD beta should be over cautious and just stop for pedestrians if if it thinks it's going to cr they're going to jump in the road or anything like that or do you think it should just uh, basically just drive and and uh, uh, like uh, 
and, and not really care about pedestrians and stopping stopping a lot for for pedestrians and stuff like that. I would really like it if it actually even stops for cars that are signaling that they want to get out of the parking spot. That would be a very good. Uh, that would be a very good, you know, like a welcome, polite uh, uh, addition. I know that's not legally the way you're supposed to drive, but you know we are humans, and FSD beta, it, if it interacts in a more human way, it'll probably be acceptable more in society, right? So yeah, those are just my thoughts, you know, my opinions. It's nothing really factual or. Um, I'm not dictating that it should be like that, but uh, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments uh, below. All right, so we pretty much passed all the heavy pedestrian and traffic uh, uh, areas of this. So we have a flashing light over here for pedestrian crossing. I really would like to, uh, w would have wished that I was right in the front so that I can see how the car reacts. Um, that other day, a UPS driver just jumped right, in, right on in, in front of me in the street, and the car just uh, went berserk. Well, it kind of slows down for this, uh, for the flashing lights, just to be a little bit more cautious. I gave it a tap on the accelerator. Um, yeah, so the UPS driver just jumped right in front of the car. I mean, it was, he, he wasn't really in front of the car. The car he was on the side of his. Uh, van or whatsoever and I was just shooting by next to him uh, you know doing 50 uh, kilometers an hour it's not really uh, anything crazy um, in a residential area so and FSD was engaged and uh, I got the red steering wheel and take over immediately and all that stuff and that kind of slowed down very aggressively and that was that was good like uh, I kind of like that stuff like uh, I mean I would take over and you know uh, and that in that you know in that uh, in that scenario and just uh, before I actually arrive to the bus because I can anticipate as a human that uh, you know uh, someone might be jumping across the street and so on I am actually going to take this exit over here just because we kind of did all the uh, all the uh, areas that I wanted to uh, and yeah I'm just gonna cut it up cut it off over here and we'll be heading back uh, but yeah, like hope you folks like this video and uh, yeah, hit like and subscribe to my channel. That was 17th Avenue with uh, FSD 69.25.2. Um, and yeah, hope you folks have a nice day. See you in the next one.